Hi everyone, welcome back to Naho. I am Faz and today we are diving into a topic that's essential for anyone dealing with loans or finance. We will be demystifying the process of calculating loan EMI using the powerful Excel PMT function. So let's get started on unveiling the secret behind PMT function. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. PMT is one of the financial functions that calculate the payment for a loan based on constant payments and a constant interest rate. The syntax of the PMT function is PMT bracket start rate comma NPER comma PV comma FP comma type and bracket close. The rate in this syntax stands for the interest rate for the loan. NPER is the total number of payments for a loan. PV is the present value or the total amount that a series of future payments is worth now. It is also known as the principal amount. The rest of the options are optional. Now let's say we have a loan of 500,000 rupees and the annual interest rate is 24%. So the first thing that we have to calculate is the monthly rate of interest. We can calculate the monthly rate of interest by dividing the annual rate of interest by 12. So I will write equal and then select the annual rate of interest and divide it with 12 and press enter. Now this 2% is our monthly rate of interest. After calculating the monthly rate of interest, now it's time to enter the duration of the loan and in years if the loan duration is three year i will write three over here and then to calculate the duration in month i have to multiply this duration in year with 12 so that i can calculate the duration in months we have calculated the monthly rate of interest as well as the duration in months because in the EMI formula we have to use these two things. Now to calculate EMI I have to write equal PMT bracket start first I have to select the rate that is the monthly rate of interest. After this I will put comma and the next thing is NPER that is actually the total duration in months. After this, I will put comma and select the present value of the loan amount. That is actually the principal amount. After this, I will close this bracket and press enter. Now you can see that our EMI have been calculated, but its value is in negative. To change it into positive, I have selected this function and just place negative in the start of PMT and press enter. So now the EMI value is in positive value. So this 19,616.43 rupees is our monthly EMI. If we want to calculate the total amount to pay, then I have to multiply this monthly EMI with the total month's duration that is 36 month. So this is the total amount that is 7 lakh 6,000 191.35 rupees and if I want to calculate the total interest then I have to write equal and then first select the total amount and subtract the principal amount or the loan amount so that only the interest remain. So you can see that this 2,6191.35 rupees is the total interest that I have to pay over this amount for the loan of 500,000 at the rate of 24% for the duration of 3 year. So you can set any loan amount in this loan EMI calculator, set your interest rate and calculate the monthly EMI easily. And there you have it. We have successfully navigated through the calculation of loan EMI using Excel PMT function. I hope this tutorial have been informative and valuable for you. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe for more content and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update if you have any questions or suggestion for future tutorials drop them in the comments below thanks for tuning into know how and until next time happy calculating